Hey YouTube, this is just a quick video to show everyone how I go through the process of configuring my tapered ball nose bits to be used as a v-carving tool within v-carve desktop. Uh, I use the ball nose bits because they're a little more rigid and deal a little bit better with uh, accuracy on some of the cuts that I make. Uh, that being the case, this tutorial will go quick. It's got some basic information, and this is for using the Amana 46280 bit or the Yoniko 37310 SC bit, which have the same parameters for the most part. Both of these are linked in my description. First, you're going to click on Tool Paths and open up your tool database within Vectric. I scroll down, I've already downloaded the Amana Tools database, and I'm going to make a copy of the number 46280 tapered ball nose. Now, the first part of this is I'm going to convert this from a tapered ball nose to an engraving bit. It's very important that you do this in order to be able to use this for v-carve inlays. I convert to uh, millimeters as opposed to inches because that's the way my machine's set up and so the diameter of the bit or the top part of the bit is 6.35 millimeters or one quarter of an inch. The side angle for this is 6.2 degrees which gives us a 12.4 degree v-bit. Our flat diameter in millimeters for me is 1 64th of an inch 0.3969 millimeters. Uh, three flutes on this, but that's an optional setting. For my cutting parameters, I like to set the parameters to something around three millimeters of depth. I leave the step over and the clearance the same. I do adjust my spindle speed to 18,000 RPM, which is what I run my CNC at. Uh, your feed rate and plunge rate are going to be dependent on the capabilities of your own machine, but I set it at 600 millimeters per minute and 300 millimeters per minute for the plunge rate. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to name the tool so we can find it. I leave all of the variables the same way as they are, and I add the name of the tool. So after that, you apply the settings, and you now have a tool that you can use for your V-carves. Uh, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you the next time.